Hello, darlings. How are you today? It's Iska Star. You can call me Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a review slash walkthrough of this Mambi, Me and My Big Idea planner. It's also called a happy planner. And Rob got me this planner for Christmas. I had mentioned that I really liked it, and he picked one up for me. And so far, I'm really really liking it. These planners do not have coils or I don't know what you would call them like a regular notebook planner does. It has these discs and the discs have like a heart in between um, but it's genius um, but I'll get more into that in a little bit. I have always been a planner girl. I've always kept a planner on my desk or with me. I've always journaled and kept a separate journal and I've always been kind of crafty, like doing scrapbooking or, you know, whatever little things that I would pick up throughout my life. But this planner just kind of rolls it all into one so that you can decorate it and you can plan in it and you can journal in it. And I've been doing all three and it, I've been having a blast playing with it. I am a total noob when it comes to these happy planners. I have seen people's layouts that are just fabulous. Um, but I'm kind of getting used to how I want to lay it out and how my routine is going to go when I use it. I've been starting by putting my to-do list on the left side and just kind of starting my week like that. I will sit down on a Sunday night to start writing everything that I know is coming up for the week in my planner. And then I will write my to-do list to the left. And then throughout the week, during my evening shift, I will kind of decorate it as I go. I won't just sit down and do a whole decorating session. I'll just kind of add things in as I see them or like them or whatever. There's parts of this planner that I'm not really sure what to do with yet, like this page right here where it's got all these little sections and I'm still figuring it out. Um, this planner came already dated for 2016, but I also got the expansion pack, which has an undated section where you can put your own dates and your own months and all of that stuff. So I have, as you can see, been using the my journaling cards, using it to journal what goes on during the week with me, and I'm just kind of getting used to it. This is my Valentine's Day week spread. I <clears throat> haven't done a whole lot with it. Um, it's been kind of a busy slash sick week or two, but there's all kinds of things that I'm looking forward to trying out with this planner. Like I have this little card that I thought was so pretty. I got at the Target dollar spot, and um, I haven't known what to do with it because um, I really liked it and I think I'm going to make like a little folder for all my little extras and the do-it-yourself tutorials of the little small crafting projects that I've been doing those kinds of projects are ideal for these planners these you know scrapbooky type planning situations I know that there are other planners out there like I think there's an Erin Condren and there's a Philofax and there's all kinds of different planners you can get. Some of them are smaller. This happy planner is not the kind of planner you really want to take with you. I mean, unless you have a gigantic purse and you want to carry something that's pretty heavy because it is pretty big and bulky. And if you did carry it with you, you would definitely need a cover for it because it would get all smushed up and, you know, fall open and all your stuff would fall out and all that. So I would not recommend this planner for somebody who likes to carry their planner everywhere they go. But I do keep this planner on my desk, so it's ideal for me. Um, also, decorating it, I'm, I have all kinds of videos planned for y'all. I, you know, have lots of ideas and things that I want to do and some giveaways. And if you're into planners, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're excited to see what else I'm going to be doing with this, this is just kind of a initial walkthrough. Like I said, I got it for Christmas. I started it January 1st, so I've only had a couple of weeks to really get used to it and kind of decide how I'm going to use it on a regular basis. But 
I've got the whole rest of the year to figure it out and we can do it together. So stay tuned for more videos on how to decorate and how to use this planner. I'm really enjoying it so far. Also, another thing about these Mambi planners or happy planners is that they're made perfectly so that you can decorate. Washi tape fits perfectly in it. Um, it's got a morning, afternoon, and evening box, um, so you got lots of room to plan and decorate. Also, what is genius about these planners are those discs instead of the coils, because you can pull your paper right out of the planner. Um, you can pull it right out and then, you know, put it on your desk to work on it so that it's nice and flat instead of still in the notebook. And then you can just kind of poke it right back into the planner again. It's really cool. And I like that feature of these planners. I'm going to show you here in a second. Yeah, they're, it's just really cool. You can pull it right out and put it right back in. It's easy to make your own inserts for this planner. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I've made my little journaling inserts. And yeah, you can also make all kinds of different covers for it. There's lots of stuff that I have planned and I can't wait to share it with you. So thanks for watching this walkthrough of my new happy planner. I cannot wait to share some DIY and tutorials of embellishments and extras that I'm going to do. I'm going to leave a link below for you guys in case you want to get one for yourself. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.